So while you might always just wanna be, you know, an aggressive superstar in Fortnite, it's time to face the fact, guys, that you aren't always gonna be the one in the position of power. You know, sometimes you need to learn how to play defensively so you can just get out of a sticky situation. What's going on, guys? Bunch of Crunch Tommy's Motivation Guy. And you know, I know playing defensively might not come easily to everybody. So today, we're gonna be outlining exactly how you can become a better defensive fighter in Fortnite, allowing you to win more fights in any game mode that you're playing. Are you guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. One of the most important things that you need to learn and really practice for winning fights is practicing your angles. Ooh, so important. And really like how you, you know, you pair your aim with those angles. Like if you're in an intense box fight, you're going to need to know how to dominate your opponent if they get too aggressive. And you know, while not actually taking any damage yourself. So there are many pros out there like Nora Lee and Clicks who dominate every single game mode that they play in just because of their skills at box fighting. Sure, most of the time, they're gonna be the ones going on the offensive, but they know exactly how to play defensively as well. And so one of the ways they do is by you know learning angles and pre-firing their enemies with their shotguns. And so one of the best ways that you can learn how to improve your usage of different angles is simply just by playing box fights. You know, in the past, you know, we have just suggested for you guys to really play in a creative mode, but Fortnite's new box fight arena is an even better choice. And so for the first time, you can now fight alongside players of a similar skill in box fights thanks to the new ranked arena. And so while you're playing, make sure that you're always utilizing every resource that you have, right? Making sure that you always protect yourself when taking peaks. You know, try focusing on right hand peaks so that you're always protected. Okay guys, so another great way to really practice is through maps like Raiders 464's crosshair placement and angles map. We've mentioned this a lot in the past because it's just so good, it's dope, I love it. And to this day, it still manages to be one of the best ways to practice your close quarters aiming and edits. And so when playing from a defensive standpoint, you're going to need to be incredibly patient and really know exactly when we can make our move. And so having patience is so important, guys, because when you're playing defensively, you're basically just waiting for the person you're playing against to really make a bad move so that you can capitalize on their mistakes. For example, like if you manage to tag your opponent for 70 and instantly think that you can just reverse the tempo of the fight and just jump into the box instantly, you're making a huge mistake. <laughs> your opponent could easily just come back from taking that damage like that. And then while your guard is down, ooh, they could do something crazy like pulling out the primal shotgun and doing a massive amount of damage before you even manage to finish them off. So practicing your overall game sense and then, you know, knowing when you should be pushing up on an enemy and when you should be hanging back, yo, it is so important and it's definitely a topic that many players just don't really know enough about and simply put though like you know practicing your game sense is all really about like playing the game and just learning from your mistakes and so playing arena and constantly going for fights is definitely going to make you guys better by honing your game sense and you can just learn by just making those bad mistakes because you know you'll be less likely to make them again and again and I know when I make my mistakes, I am kind of hard on myself, but I've learned that I've, if I can learn from those mistakes, it's actually going to make me a better player. So I want to encourage you right now to learn from your mistakes. Like when you make mistakes in the next game that you play, don't be so hard on yourself. Like don't throw your remote control. Don't, don't, uh, <laughs> don't crush your mouse. Like it's okay. Learn from your mistakes so we can be better. And if you're still having trouble knowing, you know, what you should do in each game of Fortnite that you play, all right, I got to recommend ProGuides.com. We have an innovative vibe review system that is going to allow you to upload replays of your games so that our pro players can really watch them and really tell you exactly where you went wrong. It's the fastest and most efficient way of improving at Fortnite. So, yo, check it out as soon as you can. Another absolutely huge aspect of winning your fights is how well you manage to utilize peace control. So peace control is like one of those things that a lot of players think can only be used in an aggressive mindset, but this is simply not true. Like every single pro player in the scene knows that peace control is highly important, man. And they use techniques like pre-boxing and cone phasing while playing both aggressively or defensively. All right, for example, like if someone pushes up against your wall, you should always try to cone them with the peanut butter edit or even a simple double edit and these moves are going to allow you to have just a little bit more time to readjust and will seriously throw your opponent off guard and so by boxing your opponent up it suddenly just allows you to just flip the tempo of the fight and you're no longer going to be the defensive player in the situation you've gone from being the patient one to being the one unleashing a trap and winning the fight outright bro so by practicing your angles and peaks and then just being patient in a fight you can do all of this without even having a peek over your wall 
All right, bunch of crunch time. It's time for the question of the day. Like, when you play Fortnite, do you think you're more of an aggressive player who's constantly looking for eliminations, or are you more of like a defensive-minded player who prefers to go for placement points? Let us know in the comments because you know we're gonna check it out. All right. Now, obviously, two of the most important things in Fortnite are building and editing. And so the better that you are at both of these, whew, I mean, the better that you're going to be able to play Fortnite in general. Everyone knows that, right? And once again, you know, most people mainly think about building and editing in an aggressive and an offensive sense, but, you know, it's just as useful when you need to disengage from a fight. Basically, you have to know how to protect yourself with builds in Fortnite because it isn't just about spamming builds down as fast as you can. Building a lot is definitely the best way of getting away from a fight safe but you know a lot of players don't actually know how to do this effectively and instead of just you know managing to get away from an enemy player efficiently they just throw down a ton of builds at once in a panic which is obviously just going to end up costing them a whole load of materials and will probably you know just end up just getting them eliminated along the way and so our first tip for getting away from an aggressive enemy while building efficiently is to always place a ramp behind your back as you run away this is going to seriously throw your opponent off man and when they're trying to just jump up into your box it's going to give you guys an absolute huge advantage all right for example check this out like if an opponent attempts to break the ramp and you know you're in a full box in front of them you're going to have a really easy opportunity to deal damage to them so you can just use this as a way of resetting the tempo of the fight and then turning it over entirely into your favor so placing a ramp behind your back while tunneling away is definitely like one of the easiest ways to survive when you're in a, just a sticky situation so make sure to use it another great fighting tactic that we talked talked about in the past is actually trapping your opponent in a cone and then using that moment that you've you've trapped your opponent and then just box them up this is a really good tactic but you know when it's done normally it can be very predictable and you can kind of end up getting caught out really easily so a way to counter that we're going to show you a slightly better way of just coning your opponent off without them being able to shoot at you to do this more defensive style of coning off first of all just jump and simply make a double edit on your floor and cone above you and this is going to give you guys enough time to drop a cone in over your opponent's head and be safe while doing so. And so next time you look to box an opponent up, just quickly, you know, from a defensive position, remember this trick, guys, so that you can just own the tempo of your box fight. Bunch of crunch, homie. Hope you guys are still there. All right, it's time for a recap. Let's do this real quick. Playing defensively is just as important as playing offensively. Like, in order to succeed at Fortnite, guys, you're going to need to know exactly how to play well in any sort of scenario. And so when you're forced into a defensive fight, your shotgun is going to be your best friend so that you should practice your shotgun aim and really just really learn all the best angles by playing in the arena box fight mode or through Raiders 4, 64's crosshair placement and angles map. And so when you've got your angles down, guys, like you need to learn how to be patient. I know it's a word that we don't like hearing. I know, I get it, but it definitely will make you a better person and a better player in this game that you love. Your opponents will make a mistake eventually, and when that happens, you're gonna have to be ready and waiting to pounce on them. But to do this, you're gonna need to have good game sense, which can only be acquired through playing the game you know, learning from your mistakes. And so once you're done being patient, you can lash out with some top tier peace control, cone off your opponent, box them up, and reset the tempo of the fight so that it's in your favor. And this can be said again about building. It can be great, you know, really to disengage through proper use of ramps, but you should never really get yourself into a situation where you're panicking and then you're, you're building in that way. Now you're wasting all your materials. You know, playing defensively isn't something that just comes easy for a lot of Fortnite players, but the fact is that you're going to be on the receiving end of aggression sometimes. And you know, by following our tips today, man, you're gonna be starting your journey to becoming a more rounded, complete Fortnite player. If you guys liked the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want even more extra motivation, Connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. Hey, never quit. Keep grinding, and I'll see you soon.